last of the wild horses. This is the Rogue River Valley in southern Oregon, famous for its scenic and historical landmarks. Oregon's first settlers stopped here and built one of the oldest settlements, Jacksonville, whose original buildings still stand as when they were built nearly a century ago. The entire action of this picture was filmed in the beautiful Rogue River Valley and in Jacksonville, one of the few remaining true western towns. Should have butted into this in the first place, Barnum. Now I'm going to finish you. Finished. Finished. artillery any longer. Might as well get rid of it. I mean now. What are you button in for? Three against one isn't exactly my idea of the right odds. I don't know who you are, but you're not going to get away with this. That was a horse thief we were chasing. There's a law about aiding or betting a horse thief. Oh, well, now, why didn't somebody tell me? Far be it from me to break the law. I thought he was an honest citizen, and you fellows were breaking the law. Well, I guess he must be over the hill by now. No use chasing him. Might as well call the whole thing off. Now get going. against a man carrying concealed weapons. You boys get tempted too easy. Get down. Take off your boots. Take them off or I'll burn them off. Hey, drop. 
Start walking. held up over near the pass. Yeah, what do you mean, almost? I'm carrying a big shipment. I wasn't taking any chances. I was watching the road ahead about half a mile, and I seen this mad fella. By the time we got around the bend, he was gone. All right, we'll try and round him up. Get the horses, Chuck. What he looked like, Tom? Oh, he was a big fella. Grown horse, and a black bandana. That's good enough for me. See you later. Thanks, Sheriff. Well, Mrs. Bigsby and Mrs. Jones. Now, look, everything's gonna be all right. Break it up, folks, break it up. had a little trouble. My, uh, my horse threw a shoe. Well, that's too bad. I think you can get him reshot up at the ranch. Which ranch? Double C. Oh, that's fine. Where is it? You're on it. Covers practically the entire valley. Ranch house is up over the next hill about a mile. Thanks. Hey, it's lucky for me you happened along. Otherwise, I might have had to walk. I got news for you. You're still going to walk. Who's going bring it home with it now? Hello, Dad. Hello, dear. This gentleman needs a shoe for his horse. Do you think you can fix him up? Why, sure, he can have a shoe for his horse. He's got more shoes than we have horses. <laughs> That's logical, ain't it? Four legs to one horse. Hey, Slim, throw a shoe in this fellow's horse. Thanks. You look like you could stand something cool and wet. I sure could. So could my feet. Well, don't just stand there. Go get us a drink. Yes, Dad. Get on, Miss Ronnie. Quite a hunk of property you got around here. Yeah. Yeah, I built it all up myself. Started from scratch with a brood of wild mares. Never would have stopped expanding if it hadn't been for this. <laughs> got caught in a stampede one night and bust myself up good. Ever since then, I've turned over most of the management to Riley. Must be a lot of wild horses in this part of the country. No, no, no. They're disappearing fast. That's caused the trouble. Trouble? from the small ranch owners. They claim they were the cause of it. They were taking too many mares from the herd. I let them claim whatever they want. Man's got a right to improve his own stock, hasn't he? If they don't like it, they know that... It looks like you're the one who could use something cool now. Yeah. Thank you. Apple Miss Jane, Miss Cooper, Riley. Well, Sheriff, what brings you here? Oh, I'm trying to pick up the fellow's trail. The westbound stage just pulled into Jacksonville a little while ago and reported seeing a masked man down by the big dam near the pass. Sit down, Sheriff. Thanks, Jane. How are you? Howdy. The stage held up? No. We had a couple extra guards planted in the coach. 
The guard riding on the seat was watching the road ahead for about a half a mile through field glasses. So by the time they got to the pass, the mask man had gone. <laughs> I sure would have liked to have seen the look on that fellow's face that he'd have tried to stick up that stage. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Did the guard get a good look at him? Yeah, as good as you could from a half a mile away through field glasses. Said he was big, wearing a black bandana for a mask, and riding a roan horse. I don't envy you your job, Sheriff. This country must be full of big fellows wearing black bandanas and riding roan horses. No. No, not so many. Take yourself, for instance. You're big. Unless I'm mistaken, that's a black bandana you're wearing. What kind of a horse was this man riding, Mr. Cooper? Why, wrong. There's only one thing wrong, Sheriff. I wasn't near the path. I came up through the valley. Hey, Larry. Give me your gun. Well, I guess my horse ought to be shot by now. Thanks a lot, Mr. Cooper. I... Freeze. What's this all about, Rocky? After he shot Hank, he made us get off our horses, stampede him, and then took our guns. Took your boots, too, I see. What have you got to say for yourself? Part of what he says is right. It's three of them against a kid. I just thought I'd delay him a little and give the kid a break when he took a shot at me. So I had to wing him to prevent anyone from getting hurt. I don't like any unnecessary gunplay going on in my jurisdiction. You're going to have to answer to a charge of assault. Besides, this place is you down at the pass, which is another little matter I want to get cleaned up. Let's go. Throw it away, Rocky. Who are you chasing, Rocky? We didn't get close enough to tell for sure. Mm -hmm. I suppose you took a couple of pot shots at them. Well, yes, but we were only trying to throw a scare into them. Haven't we got enough trouble in this valley without my men making more? Riley, get him out of my sight before I have him thrown off the ranch. I warned you before, Rocky, about being trigger-heavy. I want to talk to you. I told you to be careful whenever you made a move. Next time you go after anyone, be sure there are no witnesses around. This fella came out of nowhere. Well, watch your step from now on. Things are going too good to spoil. I got the old man so he won't budge. I want you to push the small ranches around until they won't take any more. When they're pushed too far, this whole valley will burst loose. When that happens, where do we stand? On the sideline. They'll make the first break. When they do, we'll bring the law down on them. Fast as they're wiped out, I'll take Cooper. Suppose old man Cooper got his own idea about all this. When I get through with him, he'll see things my way or else. It's too big for me. It's because you got brawn where your brains ought to be. You stick with me and you'll be wearing gold bullets. Where? In my belt or my back? Remedy! There he is! What's the charge? Oh, the charge? Assault with intent to kill. He shot Hank Davis, one of the double C boys. That's right. The interior's right there. Saw the whole thing. But it was in self-defense. Hank drew first and fired. Or even got his gun out. Hank fired four shots. Two. Sounded like four to me. I've been having trouble with my ears lately. Yeah, it's a rare ailment known as double, double hearing. <laughs> Just like some folks have double vision. Remind me to fix up some of that ear remedy when you get back to the ranch. You will testify to that at the trial, Sheriff. Are your words all right with me, Remedy? I guess that sort of clears you of the shooting, doesn't it? But I'm going to hold you on another charge. 
What kind of a charge? Suspicion. A description of the mask man waiting to hold up the stage. Fits you pretty well. He ain't the man you're looking for, sure. Enough. He was with us every minute of the day. <laughs> was he, Terry? Never left my sight for a second. Why, he's no more a crook than you are, Sheriff. Why, he's a new ranch hand I hired the other day. Well, I guess that clears you all the way around, doesn't it? <laughs> Thanks, pal. Well, uh... Say, Remedy. Yeah? I want to talk to you a minute. Wait a minute. I just want to remind you that you were right here when the stage pulled in and reported the whole thing. Me? Yes, you must be suffering with that double vision I was talking about. If you are, I got a remedy for it. <laughs> You're not fooling me a minute, Remedy. But I'll tell you what I'm willing to do. I'm willing to place him in your custody until I'm satisfied one way or the other. Oh, uh, he'll come through a third rate. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Don't miss it. What Terry tells me, that makes us easy. That's quite a kid you got there. Plenty of nerve. Plenty of what it takes to ride a horse, too. Ouch! <laughs> well, what do you know, a little tomboy? Say, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have smacked I tell her a hundred times she's going to go around dressed like a boy. She's got to learn to take it like a boy. <laughs> that right, uh, um... Barnum. Duke Barnum. Well, I guess I'd better take off. Take off? Yeah, I've got a sort of a date over at Quitson. Oh, date code? Maybe. It's a long remedy. Oh, it ain't gonna be so long. As far as I'm concerned, it is. But you're supposed to be our new ranch hand. Oh, you made a mistake. Well, maybe we did. Maybe I better go tell the sheriff he ain't the man I hired the other day. Yeah, it must have been a case of mistaken identity. Yeah. Funny, though, he looks just like that fellow, doesn't he? Didn't he? <laughs> now, you got a bad memory for faces. Better take another look. Am I the fellow that Remedy hired or not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you are. <laughs> as soon as I pick up a meal, I get started for the ranch. Won't be even a minute. Oh, Fred. Hi, Remedy. How's the mare I gave you the Remedy for? She died. Oh, Cal. Howdy, Remedy. A meal ready? Yep. Not as heavy as usual this week. <laughs> Not to keep me busy, I guess. Say, hey, you must know an awful lot of people who can write. Well, that's Remedy's homework for the month. Homework? He's studying by mail. No, I've seen everything. What are you studying? Oh, just a little of everything. Cure anybody of anything. Man or beast. <laughs> Medicine. Chiropractory. Chiropathy. <laughs> Veterinarian. Got my forces. Now I can pull that tooth that's been bothering Curly. Who's Curly? A horse? No, the cook. Don't tell me you're studying to be a dentist, too. Why? You got a toothache? No, thanks. So that's why they call you Remedy, eh? Yeah. Sure there's nothing wrong with you? No. I'm disgustingly healthy. How disgusting? I'll be with you in a few minutes. I've got a little unfinished business to take care of. Do. Go out of your way looking for trouble. I won't go out of my way. I want to correct something you said at the Double C a while ago. I've never shot a man in the back. And I'm going to give you a chance to eat those words. that I won't. And I'm going to give you a chance to draw first. I know you never shot anyone in the back. 
That's better. Drop it! I should have known better than to turn my back. against disturbing the peace. You've got a lot of laws around here. Yeah, and I aim to see you don't break any. Come on, dude. What a beautiful cut. Five stitches. Of course, I could probably have done the job with only two stitches. No use taking chances. No. Besides, you needed the practice. Got a professional look, too. No, I could hardly see it. Wouldn't have known I'd done it myself if I hadn't done it. Will he be all right, Remedy? Of course he will. Has he got a fever? No, but I think you have. It's quite a girl you got there. Oh, well, Terry ain't mine. She sort of left to me when my partner passed on 15 years ago. Oh, I see. No, nope, I'm strictly a bachelor. I know when I'm well off. <laughs> I don't see why you drag me out here. From the size of this place, it looks as though you could run it with the help you've already got. Yeah, I know it ain't a very big place. But I sort of figured if you were as handy with horses as you are with your guns and fists, you might get to like it. Stick around raising horses instead of sticking up stagecoaches. Makes you think I want to make a career of it. How many you stuck up so far? Well, not counting the one I started today, none. I thought so. No one with a crooked streak in him would have stuck his neck out the way you did this morning. Feeling worse, eh, Curly? Oh, even smoke hurts it. <laughs> That's what you get for eating your own cooking. Come on, sit down. Open your mouth. Oh, it's only a shoe hole. Open your mouth. Why you? There it is. The third by custard. No, it ain't. It's my tune. Got to get to the root of it. What's the root of all this horse trouble in the valley, Remedy? Lack of horses. Had to come sooner or later, I guess. Keep taking the mares away from the wild herd, and pretty soon there's no more herd. What's the solution? Well, in the lumber country, when the forests start to go barren, they stop cutting trees for a while. That's what they got to do here. Stop rounding up horses for a while. Maybe a year or two. Give the herd a chance to grow. Well, that sounds sensible. Everybody in favor of it? Everybody but the double C. Charlie Cooper? Yeah, he can stand one bad year better than us little fellas. But so far, he's been stubborn as a mule. I'm afraid if he won't listen to reason, the trouble's going to go a lot deeper than just bad feelings. It's too bad. Ain't they beauties, Curly? Oh, brand new, never been used before. Oh. Oh, maybe I better look up the literature on how to use them. Hmm. No, just waste some time. Just yank if something gives. Mm. Open your mouth. Mm. Come on, open your mouth. Mm. Hey.
look like wild horses, Mr. Ferguson. The Double C don't let a day go by without raiding the herd. The answer is yes to both questions. If you fellas don't lay off that herd for a while, there isn't going to be any hurry. You make it a habit of butting into everything that's not your business, don't you? Maybe I'll make it my business from now on. We take our orders from Mr. Cooper. If he wants horses, we round them up. If you don't like it, take it up with him. This thing has got to be brought to a head once and for all. How about seeing the sheriff? He ought to be told about this. Oh. Hello, Miss Jane. Hello, Sheriff. Hello, Mr. Cooper. Hello, Steve. I had some visitors this morning. Yep, a delegation from the other ranches. They want to know once and for all if you're going to lay out that wild herd for a year. What I said still goes. Nobody's going to tell me when I can or when I can't run horses. I guess that's final, then. That's final. All right, Mr. Cooper. But I'm warning you, I won't be responsible for what happens. You know I only got one deputy. You got a lot of range to protect. I'll protect my own range. I've got guns and I've got the men, too. Is that the only way you know how to settle things with a gun? Those ranchers are right and you know it. But rather than sacrifice anything, you'll turn against men who were your neighbors. You'll shoot and kill men who once were your friends just to assert your will and your power. Well, you go ahead, Dad, if you want to, but remember, you turn them against you and you turn me too. Tell them the double C won't run any horses for a year. I'll notify Riley and the boys. I've got a couple of blisters to prove how I felt. Well, I guess I can't blame you. Hey, wait a minute. Yes? I'll take your set. I knew you were a gentleman. Now I've been accused of everything since I hit this part of the country. This time there's proof, though. Okay, Your Honor. What's the sentence? You know, it's funny. They seem to sense that it's safe to come back into the valley again. A year's gonna make a lot of difference in that herd. Your father did the right thing when he came to terms with the other ranchers. I wish I could make him see that. Even though he did give in, I still feel he regrets doing it. Well, that's too bad. If he doesn't keep faith, the whole thing's liable to blow wide open again. Don't worry about that. Once he's given his word, he'll keep it. That's good.
<laughs> Every time I see you two, you've only got one horse between you. What became of the belly? I just saw her in the corral. She decided to come home without me. <laughs> Thanks for the lift. Don't mention it. Next time, it'll be your turn. Well, have you been beating up or shooting any more of my help lately? <laughs> None today. So far. I hear that fight you had in town was a uh, honey. I used to be able to handle myself pretty good, too, when I was your age. I'll bet you could. Mm -hmm. They, uh, Jane tells me you're not too happy with the deal on the horses. You're darn right I'm not. If it hadn't been for her, I wouldn't have gotten into it. Do you realize what one year's inactivity is going to do to the double C? Well, it's going to cost the little fella something, too. But in the end, you'll all benefit by it. Yeah, that's right. Well, I made the deal, and I'll stick to it. I'm glad to hear you say that. Otherwise, there might be a fight. <laughs> Rocky. I want you to round up every wild horse in Bedford Valley. Are you kidding? There's hundreds of them between here and Tabletop Mountain. Besides, we haven't got enough men. I know that. You'll have to take whatever men we can spare from here and pick up the rest out on the range. You understand? Yeah. You know, if we do that, it'll be the last of the wild horses. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. I think Terry's going to like it. It feels kind of tight. Well, that's okay. Terry ain't as big as you. She's bigger in some places. Yeah. I... You know, I think I'm going to have a lot of time on my hands during the next two years. I think I'll take up dressmaking by mail. How come Terry decided she wanted to dress like a girl all of a sudden? Well, she's a girl, ain't she? Yeah, sure, but how come she just got conscious of it? What makes a girl realize she's a girl? A man, you fool. for a while around the ranch now that everybody's stopped rounding up horses. I've just been thinking about the same thing. You gonna stay on anyway? I don't know. Remedy wants me to. Then you'll stay. Remedy says he can make anybody do anything he wants to do. He once took a course in willpower. <laughs> by mail. Uh, do you have a girl? Oh, sure. What's she like? Uh, which one? Which one? You mean that you have more than one? Well, no. That is, not more than one in each town. It's bad business to get two girls together. You know how women talk. I'll never forget the one in El Paso. Or was it Albuquerque? Well, anyway, when these two girls got oh, together... Oh, I think you're terrible.
we got him. We'll hold him on the other side of tabletop range. Good work, Rocky. You'll be wearing those gold bullets yet? When you get over to the bunkhouse, send Hank Davis to me. Sure. One of my boys ran into Hank Davis of the Double C in town tonight. Hank had a couple of drinks in him and dropped a hint that the Double C was planning to run some horses tonight. Well, that's impossible. Charlie Cooper gave me his word that he's going to keep the agreement. Maybe, but I intend to find out. I sent out word to some of the others to meet us here, too. Well, that should be Matt Andrews. Believed you tonight? Good. Chances are they'll be watching the pass. Drive the herd toward the double C. Mm -hmm. When they spot you, get out of the way quick. Don't worry, I will. Drop this where they'll be sure to find it. You know what to do. the double C. Wait a minute. You haven't any proof it is a double C man other than the word of some drunk. He might have just been shooting off his mouth. That's right. I'd hate to see us make a move without some kind of proof. So would I, but... Hey, Ferguson, look what I found in the meadow. The double C brand and iron. Convinced now? This settles it. Let's go. See your father, Jane. Jane? Who is it? Ferguson, Dad. Oh, hello, Pete. Hi, boys. This your brand and iron, Charlie? Yeah, I guess so. It's got double C on it. It was found down the meadow. I guess one of the boys is careless. Very careless. What are you driving at, Pete? That iron was found down in the meadow after some riders drove a band of wild horses through. Well, you're not insinuating we've been raiding the herd. We're not insinuating anything, Charlie. We're just stating facts. Well, that branding iron might have been lost a week ago, a month ago, any time. Well, that's possible. 
In that case, you won't object to our looking over your stock. You're darn right I object. Oh, but... Now, you keep sure. out of this. I've told you the double C hasn't been raiding the wild horses. I don't propose to have anybody inspect my stock to check up on my word. The whole thing's beginning to look like a frame-up. I wouldn't be surprised if one of you fellows is back of the whole thing in order to break up the agreement. If that's the way you want it, it's all right with me. Well, you'd better think this over, Mr. Cooper. I have thought it over. I'm giving orders any trespassers in the double C be shot on sight. Mr. Cooper, you're only buying yourself a lot of trouble. I can pay for anything I buy. All right. Dad, I hope you realize what this means. Well, they left me no other choice. But Dad, oh, please, Jane. Riley. I've just told Pete Ferguson and the boys that any trespassers in the double C will be shot. Why not let the sheriff handle Those are orders, Riley. But don't you see, then if they come on your range, you'll have the law on your side. You'll be entitled to protection. Well, I guess I lost my head. Maybe that's the best way to handle it. Take this with you. Last night, it looked as if the whole thing would bust wide open. Well, I had a feeling it wasn't going to last. What does Mr. Cooper want? Protection. All right, I'll round up some men and swire them in. You won't have to look for any deputies. Let's swear these men in. These are all double C men. That's right. We're picking our own deputies. Not while I'm sheriff. Maybe we can do something about that, too. Are you forgetting that Cooper put you in this job? Well, what's it gonna be? Our deputies or your job? Now remember, you're deputy. No matter what you do, you got the law on your side. And if someone should accidentally be killed while resisting arrest, that's too bad. Maybe this will come in handy to settle some personal affairs. Double C brands in your corral. Get off my place. There's no double C horses in my corral. You're getting double C horses now.
I got word to join you. We came on out, but not to join up. I'm asking you to go back to your homes and your ranches quietly. Who's going to answer for Ferguson's death? Why was Ferguson killed? Let the law catch up with Ferguson's killer. Let the sheriff handle the Ferguson case. Mob violence isn't the answer. The answer is to show Cooper that he's wrong. But we've got to do it lawfully. How do we know you ain't in Cooper's pay? No, I'm not in Cooper's pay. But I'm not going to stand by and watch a range war break out if I can possibly help it. Clem, you're talking like a fool. Cooper broke his word. Cooper can't be trusted. He might listen to me. He knows I don't own a ranch, so I have nothing personal to gain. At least let me try before you all do something you might all regret. Go on back to your ranches. Give me a chance to talk to Cooper alone. You know what he's saying is horse sense? Now, why don't you all go home? I got your message. I want to see your father. I only want to talk to him. I don't think he'll see you. Somebody's got to make him realize what's happened. The small ranchers are up in arms over the killings. I'd like to help, for your sake. Thanks, Duke. This was my idea. What do you want? How long are you going to keep this up? As long as they keep stealing my horses? The law against that, you know. There's also a law about giving a man a fair trial and not shooting him down in cold blood. They shouldn't have resisted arrest. Resist arrest. That's just an excuse for legalized murder. Pete Ferguson didn't even have a gun on him when he resisted arrest. Just the same, there were double C horses found in their corral. I still say a man is innocent until he's proven guilty. Call off your deputies. We can settle this some other way. I didn't start this thing, Barnum. Now that it's started, I'm going to finish it. Is that final? That's final. Up to now, there's been nothing personal about this on my part. Here on in, it's going to be different. Threats don't scare me any. See that he gets off the range without being bothered. Otherwise, I'm liable to be accused of ambushing, too. Sorry it had to be this way. I know you are. But he's wrong and he's got to be shown. He's all I have in the world, Duke. I love him in spite of his fault. Yes, I know. That's why I wanted it to be different. But sometimes things don't work out the way you figure. What do you mean? Oh, a guy will wander up one range and down the other, always looking for something he think he can't find. And then suddenly he'll stop at a spot and He'll know that that's what he's been after. I guess I've said more than I should have already. No, you haven't, Duke. Please go on.
what's on the program for tonight. Hit the Miller Ranch. But Miller's been neutral in this thing so far. So far. But a couple of double C horses found in his corral will prove him otherwise. Go pick up Rocky. He's waiting for you over at the office. So that's what's back of the whole thing. Cooper. Stay where you are. You're pretty clever, Riley. But at that, you don't have to be clever to take advantage of a man in a wheelchair. How to kill you two right where you stand. The right thing to do is to keep it for the sheriff. Jane. Jane. Take a chance of having it pinned on us. Jane! 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 Oh, no! You like the Coopers, don't you? She's pretty. So are you. In a girlish sort of way. I'm not a girl. I'm a woman, a grown woman. What's the matter with you chipmunks? Well, he... that is, I... Oh, never mind. Why don't you watch where you're going? I know it won't do any good, but someday I'm going to take a course in female psychology. bandana before. It belongs to Duke Barnum. No. No, he couldn't. Why not? I was with him. I was at the edge of the range with him. After he left you, he, mu he must have circled back here. He could have made it back before you did, couldn't he? I rode very slowly. That settles it. I'm going after the sheriff. It somewhere. Or at the double C, maybe? Could be. Why? It'll probably hang you. Take his gun. You're under arrest for the murder of Charlie Cooper.
the whole town's turned out for the trial. Remedy, did you get somebody to defend Duke? No, they ain't a lawyer in the county wants to touch the case. Well, what'll we do? Well, looks like I got to try to defend you. Oh, I had a little law training. <laughs> well, do you think you can? Well, I'll do my best. The prosecutor's built up a powerful case. I'll see you inside. been doing a lot of drinking lately. What's the matter, losing your nerve? I can't help it. I've done a lot of jobs in my time, but this one's got me. I keep seeing that old man sit there in his wheelchair. You need to take a trip. A long one. Here. And don't come back this way. Understand. You're employed as a guard by the express company, are you not? I am. Mm -hmm. On July 10th, while riding the stagecoach into Jacksonville, you reported seeing a masked man on the road through a pair of field glasses. Is that right? That's right. I saw him through field glasses. Is that the man? Stand up. Put your hat on. Oh, wait a minute. That ain't got anything to do with the case. So I object. I'm only trying to establish the character of the defendant, Your Honor. Objection overruled. Answer the question. Is that the man? Yes. By the first day he hit this part of the country, he shot one of the double C men. Duke Barnum has been a troublemaker ever since he arrived. He has repeatedly attacked my men without any provocation. Parker, Parker. Did the defendant, Duke Barnum, ever threaten your father in your presence? Yes. What is the jury's verdict? Guilty, Your Honor. Well, if 
there was any doubt in your mind before, this proves that he's guilty. Remedy get back yet? Duke! It's all right, it's Remedy. They're searching every ranch in the valley. They're headed this way now. They've got to be moving on, Duke. Where to? Wait a minute. There's an old cave up in the hills overlooking the pass. I used to hide there when I was a little girl. I don't think anybody knows about it. I'll take you there. No, no, you'd better not. If they should spot me, I'd rather you weren't around. How do I get there? Well, you cut across the south end of the Cooper Ranch till you come to the Medford River. You follow that for about a mile, and then you... We can push out in front. We're looking for Duke Barnum. Have you seen him?
Lady Duke's not at the cave. It didn't look like he'd been there either. Probably couldn't find it in the dark. I think I'll get in town and see what I can find out. If you'll wait till my cake raises, I'll go too. I'll clean it up now, then I'll go get Remedy. As soon as it gets dark, we'll get you out of here. See, I've been thinking about that. I'm gonna stay here. This is the last place in the world they'd think of looking for me. Oh. Stuff makes me sneeze. Hay fever, I guess. Remedy must have a remedy for that. We'll bring some back with us. Rocky tells me that my men are no longer deputies. That's right, Riley. The way things have quieted down, the double C don't need any more protection. What about Duke Barnum? Oh, we can handle him when we catch him. I figured my boys could help you out there. Riley, Duke Barnum was convicted legally. He's going to hang legally, too. But I am to see that he's brought in alive. It's me again. Where were you yesterday? It ain't always easy to get on this ranch. What are you about to see oh, I'm sorry, Remedy. Cooped up here all by myself is beginning to get on my nerves, I guess. Oh, another day or two and you'll be as good as new. <laughs> you better bring me a fresh supply of those pills. I'll pick them up in town tomorrow and I go for my mail. What's been going on? Well, this Cooper thing sort of put an end to all that fighting. You've been given up for dead. You're lucky, son. Funny thing happened the other morning. We can't figure. Riley Morgan took over the Ferguson Ranch, the Andrews Ranch, and three other places. All legal, too. He picked up some notes at the bank. Dead men's notes. I don't know what you mean, but we ain't got no proof. Well, I'll try to get back to your hay fever pills tomorrow night. Hello, Cal. Howdy, Remedy. Hot ain't it. This stuff sure accumulates. Well, I ain't been here for a few days. Oh, uh, going anywhere near the double C? Sure, why? Drop this letter off for Riley Morgan. Save me a trip. Sure.
drop something, see what it is. Just a couple of letters. Hey, this one's for you. It's from Hank Davis. Let me have it. that letter. gets in the middle. It's good and deep there. Well, the way he was anxious to get somewhere, I got a pretty good hunch what was in that letter. But it's where no one will see it now. Except maybe fishes. I think you and I better ride over to Red Bluff next week and fix Hank so that he doesn't write any more letters. and somebody might see you. Well, I have to take care of Remedy's patients. Duke, you've got to get out of here. If they find you, they'll kill you. I can't keep hiding forever. Besides, if I leave, I'll never prove anything. I'll have a horse saddled and waiting for you as soon as it gets dark. You mean you'd help me get away? Yes. I'd never leave knowing you think I killed your father. Duke, you've got to. Terry is right. They'll kill you. Somehow I feel you're innocent, and I'll never forgive myself for shooting at you. Remedy! Take this to the sheriff. You stay here with him. Killed Charlie Cooper, Riley.
But I'm settling the personal matter first. Door's the only way out of here. It's brave talk for a man with a gun. That's right, Riley. I'll give you a better break than you gave Cooper and Remedy. into this in the first place, Barnum. Now I'm going to finish you. How's the patient? He's been swell up to today. Look at him now. <laughs> That's some fancy looking suit he's wearing. He won't tell me why, but he borrowed a special for today. Hello, Remedy. Hello. Another mail order course? Well, I had to do something while I was laying on my back for two months. What kind of a course is it this oh, time, Remedy? You'll see. <laughs> Mailman get here yet? Remedy? I've been taking a mail order course in art. Tenth lesson calls for a model. 
told us everyone. <laughs> Long release. I wonder how they got her in the mailbox.